Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for sign of Libra and keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Libra. If you'd like a personal reading, that's going to be the first link in the description down below. Click that first link in the description down below for a personal reading. You'll also find my Etsy shop, my shirt store, my website, different social media platforms I'm on. You can also find me on Patreon and Ko-Fi. Go support me on there. Um, and if you like donating to the channel, feel free to do so. I do appreciate donations here. So, Libra, let us see what spirit has in store for yourself, what is coming towards you, what's the message for you, what's happening. Let's see for a side of Libra. You have a card falling out. You have a couple cards falling out here. We have the High Priestess. There is something here you know. You feel it. All right? You, you're tapping into your intuition here, Libra. And the Five of Pentacles. Okay. We have Five of Pentacles. We have the Three of Swords. All right. We have the Eight of Cups. There's something here. There's something here. Wait. Ten of Cups. I think you know you're moving towards your Ten of Cups, but you also feel like there's something going on. You feel like there's something going on. Right. Maybe you feel yourself walking away from people, or you feel other people walking away from other people. There's something, something along those lines there, but you feel it, right? We have the Eight of Wands, we have communication coming in, Libra, we have the Five of Cups, can be someone who misses you, or some, something along those lines, Three of Pentacles, can be people you work with, or people working together with you, we have the Three of Cups, there's a union there, alright, we have a Star card, can be that of Aquarius, the Aquarius coming in to speak with you, Aquarius Virgo with a Hermit, we have the Ace of Swords, there's going to be some sort of truth coming out here, you have the Hierophant, which can be that of Taurus. I feel like you're heavily... See, we have the High, we have the high Priest the High Priestess. Alright, so this tells me that you're heavily connected with your spirituality here. You've gone in for that. You've, like, found... you found more inner truth there. We have the Seven of Swords, but it's... Seven of Swords. Ace of Swords. There's something here you can find in the We have the Ace of Wands. Some sort of new beginnings there. Eight of Swords. Someone here in their mind. Too much. We have the Devil. So we have the Devil here. We have the Seven of Pentacles. I need to work on something. We have the Tower. I have Seven of Wands, I feel like you're kind of resisting the devil here. I have the World. Queen of Swords, which can be Air, which can be your own card with your male or female, does not matter. We have the Queen of Wands, which can be that of Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I have the Knight of Wands. I feel like you are resisting the devil here. Alright? We have the Queen of Wands. You have those placements, or one around you is fire being here. And yeah, the eight of pentacles. So this tells me that you're just more work focused, more school focused, more focused on your craft. We have a seven of cups. A lot of opportunities being presented to you. Of the death card. Maybe Scorpius could have those placements, one around you, but there's like a release here. You have the Magician, now you're manifesting. You have four pentacles. It's like you're hanging on. Maybe two pentacles, two points, but we have an Ace of Cups. You're manifesting the new opportunities, new beginnings. Libra, we have the Temperance card, which can be that of Sagittarius. Alright, so once again, you have those placements, one around you. You have the Six of Pentacles. See, there's your generosity coming back to you. We have the Six of Wands, so we have victory here. We have the Five of Swords, we have victory after there was defeat. We have the Empress, so we're connected with Venus, all right, which is your ruling planet, but you are like the Empress here. We have the Nine of Cups, we have a wish fulfillment, 
the moon, it's something that you manifested with this last full moon that we just had. We have the Ace of Pentacles, it's opportunities coming in, Pentacles coming in, abundance with the Empress. Alright, you can be that at pregnancies and things like that. If that's something you wish for, if not, don't apply that to yourself. You have justice, which is your own card. Libra. Justice. We have the Ten of Swords. We have justice after there was a Ten of Swords. After there was betrayal. After there was defeat. Now you're having victory. Libra. Libra. The Knight of Swords, something rushing in. Queen of Cups, the water sign coming in to speak with you. James Price and Scorpio with a fool wanting to leap into um, communication with you. You have Judgment, alright, but we do have your angels here bringing this person towards you. We have the Four of Swords, I feel like you're resting. Five of Wands because there's conflict there. Four of Cups, now you're just not interested. Two of Pentacles. It's up to you, you decide. Libra. So, get some room, some chunks of yourself. Libra. Yeah, the number eight. Eight can be manifestation, eight can be the infinity symbol. Number eight can have more significance and meanings to you. We have the Sun Beetle, which you're connected to. Any connection with the Sun, because it's on the bottom of the deck the stack that we're using. And then we also have Sun God Ra. We have Obsidian, which is a protective stone. We have the Green Man, which is that of the Earth, which you are connecting to. We have this just being born. So, Libra, that's all I have for you. And like I said, first link in the description down below for a personal reading. Let's go to the Etsy shop or go buy something. Really appreciate that. Also find the extended down below in the comments. If you want to see more content, like subscribe, I guess.